Yo, that's how we Ooh. do it in the pro. Hey, Westy, where's the Snapchat? He's a little more pizzazz. <laughs> Intro. I feel like you should kick it off. All right, YouTube, what's good? We out here at the Lake Louisville uh, Bridge. Got us a couple rod and reels today. We're here with Young Jensen in the cooler full of Coca-Cola. <laughs> and we about to uh, catch some hogs, y'all. So we found this little trail, wouldn't you know? right to the bridge spot because it's looking a little rainy today so we'll have some cover we can fish off either side not caring which direction the rain's coming from see if we get anything we'll see you out on the water boys okie dokie looks like we're rolling took a couple test casts i was trying to show eric how to not lose the crankbaits over here in the rocks because they're very shallow and i got it snagged so i didn't really do a good job of doing that so what i did is i tied on a swim bait to the old bait caster uh, let's drop it down and show you what we're working with. It's just got uh, a belly weighted hook and we got it kind of recessed in the body so we shouldn't be getting caught on nothing. We're going to have him try this assassin out. I think it'll be the first time he's casted a bait caster. Is that right? Correct. Alright, Gucci. So, uh, we ain't worried about the outcome. You can't really screw this thing up. Um, or you could. Let me put this on maximum braking. After it goes out, you slow it down with your thumb. That ensures that you won't get the backlash because what'll happen is if you gotta stop it when it hits the water. So pra practice that. Just uh, just loosen it up and then stop it. Kind of get a feel of how that's gonna happen. Gonna all go down. Pop it. Oh yeah. Yep. So you're gonna stop it when it hits the water. Now crank her up. Drop it. Nothing to it, right? Crank her up. Try and get a smooth stop. If you don't stop it though, when it hits the water, it's bad news because it'll go like and then, oh, you don't want that. So you got, that's why you gotta stop it. So this might take a minute, let me try and get this out. <laughs> you know, we gotta demonstrate, otherwise, what's the purpose, right? What's the point? So, that's why you gotta stop it, folks. Stop, Yeah. and then start yeah. your reel. Cause here's what happens. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. stop and yeah. then start the reel. Because here's what happens. You cast it out, and right. this spool inside here is continuously spinning. And when it hits the, when your bait hits the water, it's still spinning. It's like, I'm going to give you more. Like, I'm going to give you, like, you can cast as far as you want. But, yeah. <laughs> but like, when it stops, when, it hit, when the bait hits the water, now the bait is not carrying out more of this line. It's just coming out, and there's, it's not good. So you want to stop it as soon as it hits the water. And if you get one of those backlashes, you tighten it back up. You want the line to go tight on the spool. You don't want it to be all loosey-goosey. So you kind of hold it a little tight, and you reel it at the same time. That way it goes back on the spool nice and tight. So now we're good to go. Like, it's good to cast. Yep. I just got my thumb on it. Cast her out, and then... Boom, put your thumb on it, start reeling in it. Have at it, good sir. So here we go. Yep, reel it in a little bit more before you cast it. Six or so. Let me get down here. So we're gonna let her loose. Bam, done like dinner. Boom. All right, let me see that. So what I like to do is I find the knot, the nest, and then I kind of try and pull on whatever is kind of close to it, not like the line, because sometimes when you try and pull the line, it just tightens it up. Right. Like if you just try and yank it out. So I try and find where it's at, and then pull a couple of these other little knots right next to it, and then usually it'll loosen it on up. You, you could have done that one easily. That wasn't a bad one, but if you get a bad one, holler at me. Is you want to keep pulling it until you know there's no more knot left. It's just, it's just smooth line. And then what you want to do is, like I say, hold it with the opposite hand, and just keep tension, that way it's, here, go ahead, do your thing. Keep tension on the line, right hand probably, that way you can reel with your left. And just crank around, yep, yep, just, just, yeah, you're good. Now, now you can let go, because now, now it's, now it's got it, yeah. catch up. Just as like the line's loose, you want to do that, that way it stays tight on the spool. Um, and it'll help like the next cast, because if it's loose, then on the next cast it might mess up just because the line's loose, if that makes sense. Sure does. I don't know if that was a rock or, these fish are playing tricks on me. Probably a rock. Trust me, I'm telling you, they're gonna take that thing. When they see it, they're gonna get it. All right, let's try and not get this crankbait caught. Luckily, we got about three or four on us at the moment. Whoop! Hey. Secret beach. Gone fishing. Be back at 12. <laughs> But 
Oh, see, happens to the best of us. That one sounded pretty bad too. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> Sounds about right. Wrapping up here today. Today, we got to hit the pond. <laughs> what do you do? Let me build it up. Wrapping up here at the secret beach location. Lake really did not produce today, but that's all right. We're gonna bounce back and we're gonna go hit some ponds and uh, we'll see if we can get you guys some action out there on the out there on the water. Hoorah. Take it. Perfect. All right, y'all, we out here at the second spot. We just pulled up to the pond that we have been kicked out of once or twice before. So we just parked across the street now in the old tundras. We're gonna try and get some more, or some in general, because we actually didn't catch any yet today, right? There you go. So, stay tuned. Uh, no practice cast this time. You're just gonna have to go full tilt. And yeah. no, 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 this right here. This is you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I would hop down there. Maybe swim over to that one. If you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go to the left. We'll, we'll that one. Now, hold on. Right here, so you gotta switch hands after you pass the two. That, that threw me off there. And then when you graduate on these right handed reels, you cast with the right hand, but then you stop it with the left hand, and you're good to go. Only a matter of cast now. Oh. Well, they certainly are hiding today. Oh, yo, that's how we do it in the pros. <laughs> it's not even a bass. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't want this. He's yeah, this is a little guy. Got him? Okay, go ahead and toss him in. Nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'll let you get the next one. Try and get some more and I'll let you throw them back in, okay? All right. Easy money. Getting it. This next one's gonna be bigger, so be ready. Uh oh. Ooh. That doesn't look too good. Here, try this one for a minute. Let me see that. Cast over there, yeah. And this one's different, remember? You, you fish him a little slower. Let me try this one for a minute then. Ooh. We may have a nest. Just when you thought things were getting smoothed out. This one's kind of got that system that makes it easier, so it's a good thing. Here, just keep using this one. This is money right here, I'm telling you. You're about to get something. First day bait casting, not too bad. <laughs> All right, let me just go over yonder. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll, I'll use this one. We'll see if she catches anything. I may switch locations here. It's all in the cast, right? No action out there on the rocks with Weston, but I think I'm gonna go over here by myself and see if I can get a little bit of nibbles. I guess I'll just keep making my way around this pond until I get something. Yep. Oh! Hey, Westy! First one on the bait caster. I told you! Be ready! Oh! Top of round two, double the size. <laughs> well, wrapping up here at the pond. Weston caught himself a big old bluegill. <laughs> I uh, managed to snag me a pretty good sized bass for today. I'd say uh, right about now, I think we're gonna call it quits and uh, we'll see you next vlog. <gasps>